and welcome back. You know, as a point of interest, most professional tutorials that you'll watch will have probably been planned and developed, scripted and rehearsed over many weeks, if not months, in order for the author and or the presenter to be able to deliver the tutorials with a high degree of confidence and assurity that they've ironed out many of the problems that they may have encountered during the process towards the finished article. Now, from my own personal experience, I can remember learning just as much from people who set out making a tutorial with only the basics of an idea and little or no planning and preparation. Because generally, as a result, these people made mistakes. And to my mind, those mistakes were just as important towards my understanding and development in using 3ds Max. Now I won't deny that I haven't given some thought towards the planning and the development of these tutorials but the fact of the matter is this is the first time I have created this model of the Messerschmitt 109E. At no time prior to these tutorials has it ever reached a stage of completion. So what you're seeing now is an actual model in its development. I know it's important to see the various aspects of trial and error which are involved when modelling. Boolean has inherent problems. Pro-Boolean, well, it's debatable as to how it's going to be turning out. So I just want you to see how I actually approach these problems and how I hope to resolve them. Okay, so let's get cracking. Now at the start of any modelling session I always make sure that I do have um, a sort of backup copy of the file and I actually go in and what I do is say save save a copy as and I go save it as scene 2 so that's the scene that I'm generally using 2B but I save it as 2 say yes now you've also got access to backup copies um, which I will explain a little bit further down the line but that is something I always do just make a backup copy because then if things go terribly wrong you can always go back and you haven't lost everything okay so we're gonna select the wing now um, I want to go into the bottom view so I'm gonna press B zoom in Alt X for transparency and this here is the section that we need to create but before we start on this I've actually taken a note of these references down here for the X Y and Z now I'm going to press my shift and make a copy of the wing and push it down here out of the way copy say OK come back to here deselect and we're going in to our shapes splines and line what we're going to do is create the shape of this using a spline so left click the mouse press shift drag up left click on the mouse button let go of the shift key and now I'm just gonna follow it round that goes all the way up to here down to there squares off about there comes down close the spline let's say yes we need to convert it to an editable spline. Now, up to our line, open that up, go into vertex. Let me just move these two up a little bit, that's better. And we'll select these here, press our control key and select those there. Right click on our mouse so we get our quad menu up and we're going to go smooth. How does that look? Uh, this one here could do with a 
coming up just a little bit that one there not looking too bad that one there possibly there that's fine come back up to line the root and we're going to say extrude now it's turned that nice shade of pink again but we can notice that we've got a cap at the start and a cap at the end but our amount is showing zero let's move that up to something like uh, say 4.5 now let's pop into our front viewport so that's F on the keyboard and here we can see the spline that we've just created what I want to do is convert that to come on an editable poly let's pull this down here and we're going to take it up inside the wing about there to begin with and now into the perspective viewports so that's P on the keyboard middle mouse key to pan down alt middle mouse key to zoom around what I want to do now is select that at the root editable poly and go to polygon I'm going to select ignore back facing first of all let's check that and select the top press E on our keyboard to select the rotate tool I just want to be able to see down in here now so let's have a look get in there what I need to do is rotate this downwards so that uh, getting it lined up so it fits comfortably inside the wing itself if we pop inside the wing we see there and we're making sure that it's not protruding outside of the skin of the wing itself okay that's a nice angle on that one I'm going to um, press W for our move and select tool and just pull this up a little bit in fact let's see it come through there we can see it coming through the skin the surface of the wing we don't want that so just take it down a little bit more there we go that's fine happy with that let's close this down to the root and select the wing alt X alt middle mouse key let's zoom around now we have all of the wing selected okay so let's um, pop down here into geometry compound objects we're going to select pro boolean pull us out another one zero union wing left subtraction start picking select that there we go it's subtracted it removed it what's it like close that a bit how's it looking as we can see there's some deformation along that edge there and running down here okay let's go down and into the advanced options uh, make quadrilaterals mm. and there we can see where the deformations are and basically what's causing them in that section could we increase that let's try it at 5% say 
it's resolved it in that section but not in that section shall we try 10% again and I'm not entirely happy with this around here um, let's turn that off for a moment decimation 20% shall we say try that well about 20% update again it's still showing the deformations around there so I'm not entirely happy with the results of this. Um, could I resolve it by using the cut tool? But the thing is, actually, it's using the whole wing as operand A. Just want to have a look at that. Let's do a quick render. Um, yeah. it's quite bad in that area and along that edge there ok so I'm not entirely happy with the results let's just close this down for a moment um, you can see there's problems around here as well as I've said it's using all of the wing as operand A. Let's rotate this around a bit. Pull this out. Click on one. Let's turn that to always. Um, subtraction. Check cookie. And let's change operation okay so what we've done now is just let's close this down for a moment I want to have a look again so what we've done is just cut out the shape we've not bothered with the structure inside I just want to have a look at this I'm looking at the edge and what deformations there may be. Okay. This is where trial and error really comes in. Is it a case that I simply have this cut out and then build the geometry? Um, inside and attach it to the wing or is there some other methods now as you can see here it really has changed all our geometry in this section likewise with down here round here so it's no longer clean okay well I'm mindful of the time and um, We'll pick this up in the next uh, in the next session. Okay, I'll catch you then.